uh, things organized pretty well. What I want to do now is make sure that my project is in sync. Now this is going to be a challenging exercise uh, simply because uh, we need stereo to be able to make this work. Um, and my microphone is mono, so you're not going to be able to hear what uh, what I'm going to be pointing out. <clears throat> now, luckily, you know, hopefully everybody in class, you know, I, I stepped most everybody through it. Not everybody, and I didn't get to everybody in terms of showing them how this little process worked. But I'll walk you through it, and I want you to sort of follow along, and uh, and you'll see how we, you know, make sure that things are synced up. So the first thing, the first step that we want to do is go ahead and uh, oh, notice that uh, this timeline up here. Uh, I can change what the unit display is. Do I want to display in decimals, um, stuff like this? I selected ST SMTPE drop frame twenty nine nine seven. That's what that's what my project was in. That's what uh, hopefully I exported it as. Um, and uh, well, that's why I did export it as. And uh, you know, so now that I have my, my have time code here, that's you know, I'm going to put everything to. So let's just go ahead and play this and listen to it. And uh, that's going to give us a real quick indication. Uh, if we're way out of sync, it's going to sound like you know we're in a bathroom or something. Hey, I want you off my property now. What the fuck is going on here, man? You can't stay here. I, I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. I'll get it straightened out. Those fuckers made a mistake. I okay. It sounds like it's in sync. But what if it what if it wasn't in sync? So I'm going to go ahead and select all. Okay. I hit Apple A or my Command A so I can just select all or I can go up here and edit and uh, select all. Okay. Now, now I can take these things, and you'll notice if I go over, you know, um, you know, if I go down here, I'm going to add, you know, accidentally add something stupid like a keyframe point. Now, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go over here and just grab at the, you know, the, uh, I guess the title strip of this little track, this little piece of audio here, and now I can drag things. Now you'll notice as I'm dragging this that my uh, my locked tracks aren't moving anywhere. Okay. Now this is scary to watch this thing go out of sync. Trust me, nobody likes to see this. So I've got, I went ahead and I dragged this out of sync. So let's listen to it now and see what it sounds like. I want you off. I my want you off my now. property now. What is going on? What's going you on? You can't here. stay. Okay, yeah, that sounds that's really really bad. Um, sometimes your OMF import and your uh, reference track, you know, they don't have the start the same start point. So you need to always check and make sure. And you know, synchronization is, I can't tell you how important this is that you keep everything in sync. It can be a nightmare if you suddenly push something out of sync, you don't know what went out of sync, and you know, you're spending hours just trying to get everything back into sync again. Get, once you bring this in, set up your sync and make sure it's in sync, make sure it's tight, sample accurate, and from that point on, our process of working with this audio and how we and you know, how we're going to fix this stuff and how we're going to um, basically do our post audio, you know, our process is going to help us keep things in sync and not screw things up. Okay, that's why we're doing things this way. That's why we create all these tracks and work tracks and junk tracks and all this kind of stuff. It's all about you know you know good process keeping things in sync. So let's 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 learn a few little techniques about how to get this back in the sink. Um, the first one is let's just go ahead and do the nudge. Okay. I go to clip. I go to nudge left and right. Uh, I can also use uh, the option key. That's the that's the little symbol for option. See that it, it makes total sense. That that means option. I don't know what how else to translate that. Um, uh, but you would just say option. And I would use the little um, uh, little the comma or the period. Okay, it has little arrows above it, so that's a little guide. So I can sit here and nudge this way. I can nudge this way. So I'm hitting those little keys. I'm going back and forth, and I'm going to nudge this thing. See if I can't get this thing back in sync. 
Now we have these clever little waveforms here, okay? And obviously this looks wildly different from that one. Um, but uh, if I sit here and, you know, get an idea of lining this up, I'm not, I don't seem to be nudging anywhere anymore. Okay, let's just do that and play. You can't, you can't stay here. I, I told I, you to told vacate, you to vacate that, room. that room. Okay. We're still not in sync. So I'm going to take this, and for some reason, it's decided it doesn't want me to move it anymore. This is crazy, man. So. I'm going to select all again. I'm going to grab this and it won't let me drag it. That's wild. I seem to have this little gap here. That's very interesting. That's something we got to fix. How exciting. Instead of it all just working out, we got something to do here. So I want you, I want you off. So clearly, you know, we got something going on here. So let's go to the head here and uh, ripple delete. Oh, no, 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 no. I got something selected. So let's take this and ripple delete gap. Boop. Now, probably what that did was is it took everything. It just ripple deleted that clip. <laughs> But it didn't change everything else that was in sync on different tracks. Notice that this is still very much out of sync. So let's go back. Let's. All right. Apple A. I think I know what the problem is. Because. This is really interesting. I think I found a kind of really buggy thing here. So um, if I grab this and try to move it, it's not moving, but it looks like it's clearly off the timeline here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all, and I'm going to Apple click on these and deselect just those two tracks. Even though they're locked and I shouldn't be able to move them anyway, I think what it's, it's, it's acting funny because it, it, something happened here. Something happened here. Let me unlock these. Unlock. I'm going to grab these two. And let's. Learning. We're learning. Okay. I'm going to grab this. I don't know how that got moved off of. That's really strange. Let's lock these again. Those are both now locked. Now what I'll do is I'll select all of these. I'll not select these. I'll grab this, and I still can't move it. Even though I've got all these selected, let me try just ripple deleting this now, this gap, and it's still not going to move these. I don't know what happened. What the hell is going on? And, uh, you know, what happened was is I, I made a mistake. Um, somehow... I had selected, when I selected all, when I selected everything, somehow this track down here didn't get selected, or it got deselected, something happened, okay, and I got a gap formed. So I was trying to drag this thing, you'll notice, like I do this, and I was trying to drag all these clips, and I kept hitting that bump, well it's because this clip down here was already, you know, at the beginning of the timeline so I couldn't get it back into sync somehow it slipped out of sync and pff, I was you know I couldn't get it back into sync now uh, you know I happen to know that this is just room tone and background it's ambience it's really garbage and it's not the right the, not really the right way I should have done it but here's what I need to do in order to kind of fix this I need it I'm gonna right click on this I'm gonna go down to track and I'm going to select all clips on just this track. 
okay everything is selected and then what I'll do is lock in time so that all these clips aren't going to move around anymore all right because I got to get this thing back into sync the rest of them seem to have uh, you know maintained sync with each other I hope we're gonna have to see but let me just go ahead and play this and and we'll see exactly how we're doing with sync and we'll get this thing nudged back into sync since that's what this lesson's about hey! I want you off my property now. Okay, so it, it sounds, it's like it's out of sync. It's got that weird echoey sound to it, so good. Now we can use some techniques here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to go ahead and pick a region that I want to work with. Let's just pick, uh, I'll select, I'll put my playhead here, and I'll select push I for in. And I'll go to here, and I'll select O for out. And so I've selected a little time region here. I'm going to use this region to get things back into sync. I don't want to hear everything else. Make sure that my loop is turned on so that when I hit play... I, I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. I, I told you to vacate... So it's just going to loop that back and forth. So now it's time to start nudging this thing back into sync again. Now, the best way to do it, okay is um, I'm going to solo my reference track solo okay that's what the S means means solo it means I just want to hear this and nothing else I can solo other tracks and add that in so I can solo this one alright and I can solo this one now these are two different tracks and what I showed you guys in class was just the reference and another track Let's go ahead and, and, and we'll include this other track so we can make sure that everything went back into sync the way we want it to go back in sync. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to use a technique that uses um, what's called uh, uh, pulling uh, the, the sound back into sync. It's going to sound like it pulls in right or left in the stereo field when it's out of sync. In order to set that up, I'm going to select my guide track here and I'm gonna pan this one all the way to the left okay and then I'm going to here are my the, my two um, um, tracks that I want to make sure back in the sync these are from my OMF file and I'm gonna pan this one all the way to the right and I'm gonna pan this one all the way to the right too because it is part of what I'm gonna put back into sync so now that I've got this done, I'm going to hear the reference in my left ear, and I'm going to hear my, um, my uh, audio tracks in my right ear. And when I start nudging this thing, I'm going to try to get it back into what sounds like centered stereo image. It's going to sound like it's you know, right in the middle again. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And I'm going to use my fancy option nudge tool to uh, see if I can't get this thing back into shape. Vacate that room. Come on, man. I, I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. Okay. I, I, nothing was happening because I have nothing selected. So I'm going to select all again. Now remember, the tracks I don't want to move are locked. So I can select all and, and nudge at, at, at will and know I'm going to move everything and not the things I don't want to move. Okay, so let's try this again. Man, I, I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. I, I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. I, I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. I, I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. I, I okay, it sounds pretty close to the center right there. Now, does that mean it's in sync? Not quite, because my nudge tool nudges um, in relate how much it nudges right and left is relative to how zoomed in I'm in if I were to zoom all the way out and nudge this thing oops if I was to zoom all the way out and nudge you know it's gonna move it you know you know a fraction of the screen space if I zoom all the way in to you know to really you know get into uh, a nice tight and I can start seeing these sample ranges here when I nudge here I'm it's gonna nudge just minuscule amounts so uh, 
you know, it sounded pretty close when I was zoomed out. Now it's I'm zoomed in. Let's see how close, how much closer I can get it by nudging at this zoom level. I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. I, I told you to vacate that room. Come on, man. I, I told you to vacate that room. Come okay, so what I'm doing is I'm listening for which side is louder. Okay, it doesn't sound like an echo anymore, but it, you know, one side is louder than the other. And what I want to do is option nudge in the direction of the louder side. So it, right now it sounds like it's a little bit louder in the right speaker, so I'm gonna nudge toward the right. If it goes suddenly to the left again, I'm gonna nudge toward the left. If it seems like I can't seem to get it in the center, I need to zoom in some more and keep on nudging. Come on, man! I, I told you to vacate that room! Come on, man! I, I told you to vacate that room! Come on, man! I, I told you to vacate that room! Come on, man! I, I told you to vacate that room! Come on, man! I, I told you to vacate that room! Come on, man! I, I told you to vacate that room! Come on, man! I, I told you to vacate that room! Okay, sounds good to me. Sounds like I got it right in the metal. And there we have it. I've synced it up. It's in sync now. Now, as we start doing some work on our timeline and adding and fixing audio, uh, we just need to, you know, we're going to learn some good practice, good practices in how to keep it in sync without nudging things out of shape, just like I did accidentally earlier, just noodling around. I didn't even know what was going on. But, you know, I need to go ahead and scrub this whole thing to make sure everything is now in sync and I don't go out of sync somewhere and I gotta fix it. These fuckers made a mistake. I said I did everything they no, told no, no. me to do. I'm not falling for this again. I, there's nothing to talk about. I want you to leave now. What did I do? Okay. So, uh, I'm just gonna take it on, on faith that we, we did a good job here. Um, so, now we've got it in sync. We've synced it. That was the step. Christ, I forget what step we're on. Uh, uh, this is step three, I think. Uh, three. Uh, on to step four. We need to uh, get rid of dual mono tracks.